Now, Premier Lee arrives in Ethiopia next week en route to that Nigeria conference. After that, he travels on to Angola and Kenya. The tour marks the 50th anniversary of the first visit to the continent by a top official in China. Relationship between China and many countries in Africa had humble beginnings, but there have been great strides in recent years. CCTV's Ming Tian has more. It is a friendship built on mutual respect and equality. Sino-African relations is yielding fruits. Half a century since the initial diplomatic contact, the two sides are getting ever closer. China has become Africa's largest trading partner, while Africa is the fourth largest destination for Chinese overseas investment. More than 2,000 Chinese companies are now investing in a variety of African sectors, including agriculture, mining, construction, manufacturing, and real estate. China Africa Development Fund is one of the major capital providers, which was founded in 2007 after the Beijing summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. So in the past uh, six years, we have already committed investment of 2.4 billion U.S. dollars on 64 projects, which covers more than 30 African countries. Last year's visit by Chinese President Xi Jinping to Africa and Africa leaders' trips to China moved the relationship up to a new high. China's Imports and Exports Bank said late last year that the Chinese government and state-owned banks will provide up to $1 trillion to Africa by 2025, 50 times the amount provided in 2012. But analysts say that there are still many challenges in Africa that Chinese companies need to notice. Uh, in some countries, you have uh, security concerns, like in Somalia, for instance, uh, in you know DRC. Uh, whereas in other countries, they're very stable, very you know uh, dynamic economies. So I think uh, when you're going into Africa, one should look at it as a continent, but also as separate countries that have got uh, you know opportunities and, and, and challenges. Um, I would advise Chinese companies also to be mindful of local sensitivities and culture. Experts also urge the Chinese government to come up with more measures to support private businesses going to Africa. They say, too, that additional training is needed for private companies before they expand abroad. Ming Tian, CCTV.